Hello. In this short, I'm going to talk about the three most common INCO terms. INCO terms are three letter terms used in the shipping industry and are extremely commonly used, especially if you're, uh, if you're in, for importers and exporters. Okay, uh, first is DDP. If you're an importer, this as a beginner, this is something I would recommend. DDP is what it means is that the seller will uh, take on all the risk from the factory to your location. So uh, that's the easiest for a beginner. So you don't need to use a freight forwarder if you use DDP. Although this might be a little more expensive than other methods, I still highly recommend it, especially if you're a beginner. EXW. This might be the cheapest method, and if you're if you already have experience with freight forwarders, basically what it means is, once your goods leave the factory, then you take on all the risk. So factories like that, they only take on risk at the factory. Once it leaves the factory, the buyer takes on all the risk. And the next most common would be FOB, free on board. That means that the seller will take your goods to a port or to an airport and from there once it leaves its destination the buyer takes on all the risk. And I forgot to mention for these you the buyer would pay the the duties and customs and taxes and the same with DDP, the seller would pay for and deal with all the customs and taxes. Okay, so as a quick review, these are the most common. DDP, I recommend it for beginners. EXW and FOB are good, but you'll need to deal with a freight forwarder and very likely you'll need to buy lots of goods, probably at least 100 kilos worth of goods. But these could save you uh, money if you have experience in the field. Hope you enjoyed.